So there are some cars that no matter how hard you try, you just can't get away from. I bought this car two years ago. It was bought to resale. It was never one that I planned on keeping. But immediately after selling it, this was the C4 that was the one that I regretted. I've had 11 or 12 of these cars, but this was the nicest. The only negative I had about the car was it was an automatic. Yesterday I brought the car back home. It's a 1996 torch red black interior. It's got the dual power seats, sport seats. 100,255 on the miles. Now, when I sold the car, it had 97,000 miles. I absolutely stole this car two years ago because it had some title issues. And I bought the car for 2,000, put an OptiSpark on it, O2 sensor, and I drove the car. The guy that I sold it to wanted a camper, so he sold it to another guy really, really cheap. And um, I saw it yesterday, and I just had to have it. It was a car that I've missed for the last two years. Um, I enjoy C4s. I think they're a great car. But the 96 in particular, you get a little nicer seats. They're a lot more comfortable. But then also you get OBD2, so when the check engine light comes on, these cars are 26 years old. It will come on. At that point, you can just plug a scanner in and go. Also, for resale value, being the last year, it's going to be one of the ones that are going to hold the value the most, and it's going to be the easiest to resale because this is one that everybody would like to have. Now, unfortunately, it's not a special edition. It's not a, a Grand Sport or Collector edition. It's, it's none of those. It's just a regular C4, but it's such a blast to drive. You know, this car, it handles curves. You can spin it sideways. Like I said in my last C4 video, and if you didn't see it, I'll link it below. It is hands down one of my most popular videos to date. And um, it's one of those that for the channel, it really made me want to have another C4 specifically for this channel because of the engagement on that video. It, you know, the amount of views that it got, the amount of people that sent me messages saying it was a great video, the comments in it, everybody seemed to love it. You know, that, that video really made me want another C4 specifically for the channel. And uh, I bought another one in between then. It was a 93. It was an okay car. It, it was a fun one to drive for a little bit, but it wasn't the nicest car. So it was never meant to be a keeper. But this one, I bought it back pretty cheap. I, I only paid 6500 for the car. I realistically think I could sell the car today for 10000 And um, I'm really torn on this one. Of, is this one a resale? Is this one a keeper? And uh, I guess time will tell that. You know, with me, I, I buy and sell. That, that's what I do. I get bored pretty easy. Uh, the 81 white Corvette that I, th I thought was going to be a keeper. I sold it and um, went to a really good home. A guy up in Raleigh bought it and um, I made good money on it. So it, it was one that I hated to see go. But on the flip side, anytime you can make $5,000 on a car, you're, it's kind of a no brainer to sell it unless it holds really sentimental value or it's a car that's going to go up in value a ton. Uh, on those, I always say sell. Um, you know, cars are depreciating assets. Something like a C4, they are going up in value, but they, they made, I, I think, 300,000 of these cars, so they're not hard to replace. So if you get one and you're in a position where you can make some money on it, my advice is sell it. So we're headed to do a little photo shoot of the car. I, ha I hadn't really taken any new pictures of the car. And um, yeah, I just want to give you guys an update that as of today, we have another C4 on the channel. So we'll talk to you guys later.